and share with you these eight methods to increase abundance. Number one, know and consequently feel that everything desired is already achieved on some level. All possibilities of creation already exist within you. And like I was saying before we cut out, um, this, is, this is like the foundation to know anything from, to attract anything from more effortlessly, which is what we want to do. We want to increase the flow of abundance in that way. Um, we need to come from an understanding of how this universe works. And how it works is that everything is already created. So inherent in that view, there is no lack. There's very little space to believe that there is lack. So to see and to know and to feel that everything is already a part of creation, that already is, everything is already created. So um, it's like the central place of your energy center. It's like coming from that center space from which you attract things instead of believing that there is a lack of things. And so if you tune into your vibrational state, if you tune into your feeling state, and you shift from this automatic state of sort of feeling like you're caught in this physical universe of causality, of cause and effect, of limitation, of being a personal individual, which is sort of most people's automatic mode of feeling who they are. It's their automatic sense of identity. And in, inherent in that view is a lot of limitation. Because from a purely physical standpoint, there simply is a lot of limitation. There is a lack of everything coexisting all at once seemingly within the appearance of the physical focus. There is this comes first and then that. There is the glass fell on the floor because I let go of it. There's all this causality and in, in, inherent in that view is a lot of limitation. So in order to come from a more limitless space and therefore to create more miraculous appearances or to increase the flow of abundance as we experience it in our everyday lives, we have to come from a different foundational understanding of the universe. And this one is very profound and it's very accurate and true, which is everything already exists. So know that not only every possible configuration of energy already exists inside of you, inside of creation, because there's only one creation, therefore it exists inside of you, but also more specifically to you, everything that you desire is already established. It has already been made manifest on some level because everything that can exist does exist. So everything you desire is included in that. So everything you desire, just state this to yourself, everything I desire is already accomplished. And just feel into the vibrational stability of that. Feel into the lackless foundation that that gives you. The power, the sense of power and freedom and peace that that gives you. Because you can't really create anything abundantly so from a state of lack. There has to be a foundation of peace. Hence also my first teaching and my second teaching, which are more about self-realization, realizing the changeless state of creation, of existence, of the creator, of awareness. So that you come from a space of not neediness, from knowing your eternal nature. And then when you go into the empowerment teachings, or the third teaching, you have to back yourself up with, you have the stability, that mental emotional stability of that spiritual knowingness that you can never die, that you are eternal, that you are changeless. And from that peaceful state, you're not infusing as much of the ego effect or the, um, the neediness, the lack beliefs into your creation abilities. But from another point of view, we can simply stick to the empowerment teaching. And even from within the empowerment teaching, we can give you that stability. We can give you that peace. You can give you that peace by tuning into the vibrational knowingness that everything you desire is already accomplished. And many people, when they string that vibrational possibility, when they activate that within their being, when they activate that feeling, everything is already accomplished. Everything I desire already exists, is already done. They, most people find that there's this great sense of relief, there's this great sense of ease that comes with it. Um, so just use that as your foundation, use that as your starting point. The second point I wrote down says, Activate your desired possibility of creation by bringing anything that you desire into the here and now feeling. So now that we've covered the idea that all that you desire is already accomplished, and you can imagine this as this infinite field that's connected to your heart, to the center of your being, inside your body even if you will, or your mind, whatever you want to visualize it as. 
But you can imagine that all of creation expands outward from the center of your beingness. You are the center of creation, the center, the middle point, from which you are connected to this infinite field of infinite endless possibility of everything is already accomplished. This. And so then what's next? In order to make that more relevant to your personal individual desired experience, you simply activate any one possibility out of the field of infinite possibility, you activate the desired possibility, so you make that more probable, you make that more likely to appear into your experience by simply bringing anything that you desire into the here. So welcome back, hopefully it's working. Um, as I was saying, quite automatically from a limited point of view, whenever a desire comes up or is in a sense downloaded to our brain level consciousness, to our personal consciousness, to what we are able to recognize, based on our previous conditioning of physicality, of limitation, of over here versus there, of space, time, causality, we tend to automatically project our desires into a state of lack. We tend to, we tend to include the lack thereof. So a higher self, in a sense, is just transmitting to us a pure desire for creating something, for shifting into a particular reality. And what we automatically do, our automatic uh, filtration system is infusing that with its opposite, with its lack-based um, creation. So basically, higher self, for example, is saying, wow, it would be really exciting, it would be really expensive if you move to Bali, for example. And then the, um, the personality self automatically filters that excitement through the lack of being in Bali, the lack of having the resources to get there, the lack of having everything set and organized where you live now in order to move there. So then suddenly the majority of our focus, of our vibrational focus becomes the lack of the things that we desire. That's why it's very important to feel into your desires as if their manifest accomplished results are here and now. You have to feel what you desire here and now and remove as much as you can the idea that it is not here and not now. When you do this, it's going to be one of the most powerful um, manifestations or accelerations of your ability to naturally be in the flow of abundant manifestation. Simply the shift from it's not here to it is here, regardless of what physical reality wants to tell me. I'm saying that it, that it is here. I'm feeling as if it is here. I'm feeling it inside of my being, inside of my body even. I'm feeling it here and I'm feeling it now. And just to stay with that feeling as you tune into your desired reality, without getting even too specific about the details all the time, although that can be lovely too, but what I'm saying is that even just to love the energy of desire without thinking too much about the result already amplifies you. Desire itself, if you don't filter it through lack, if you don't make it too specific in a lack fashion, based in physical reality, oh, it's not here right now, but simply tune into the desire energy itself, then that itself can already increase your vibration so much because desire itself is love. It's higher self making love to you. It's communicating with you. So to be in the state of desire without even necessarily knowing whether or not something has been made physically manifest is already a great step in the direction of alignment. So that was number two, activate your desired possibility of creation by bringing anything you desire into the here and now feeling. Are we good? Number three, feel the presence and scope of your spending power. Feel that you can do many things. So this is where it gets more specific even. This is where it gets very specific to abundance, to money, to finances, to resources, to being able to physically move as you want to move, do what you want to do, get what you want to get, give what you want to give, etc. Is the idea that you can, this is really a method more than anything else. It's more than an understanding, it's a method. So the method is that you, as you go about your everyday life, you actually start to feel as you look at the things in your reality or the things that are simply in your imagination at this point, somehow activate the feeling that you can do that thing, that you can buy that thing, that you can achieve that thing, that you can give that thing away if you want to, that you can share that thing, that you can manifest that thing. So it's about constantly affirming um, and emphasizing the spending power that you have. Even if you have $2 in your bank account, 
or minus 10,000, perhaps. You can always amplify the things you can do. You can always emphasize the things that you can spend, the things that you can get, the things that you can buy, the things that you can give, the things that you can receive. You can always emphasize what you do have and how much you can actually do with that. And once you start to develop this little knack of seeing it differently, this vibrational game, this method, you will start to feel more and more capable, more and more abundant, and more and more that you're cleansing your energy or transforming it from lack and I can't, I don't have enough money, to I can buy this, I can do that, I can buy this piece of chocolate, I can buy this beer right now, I can buy this meal right now, I can buy these pens. And so even if you only have $10 in your bank account, you can reapply that same physical $10 a hundred times a day to things that only cost eight bucks or five bucks or nine bucks or ten bucks and so you're actually vibrationally spending a hundred times ten dollars which is ten thousand dollars is that correct yes that's correct i believe so so um that's just a way to increase your sense of abundance which is all that it is about it's just a permission slip it's just a method it's just a mind game to trick your conditioned mind to be more in the state of seeing what can happen rather than what is not happening yet. So it's another variety, it's a more specific method to number two, which is simply about activating the vibration of it being here and now. Now number three is be aware of your spending power. Be aware of the power of manifestation that you have. Be more in the energy of I can, I can do this. Can you go and buy a pack of cigarettes right now? Can you go and buy some chocolate right now? Can you go and um, buy your friend a present right now? Can you go and buy your girlfriend some flowers right now? Yes. For most of you, the answer is yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. And even if you have only $1 and all the things that I told you about just now are $5 each, there's always a way in which you can conceive of getting your girlfriend flowers or buying yourself that piece of chocolate or getting yourself a nice dinner or making sure that you have a roof over your head, or sharing some lovely gift with someone else, or giving away something you've had for years. And maybe you've noticed that I've included not just the getting, but the giving, because that's a crucial part of the flow of abundance, is that you also feel like you can give. Now some people are very focused on, okay, abundance is all about receiving, receiving money, receiving more resources, receiving more abundance. But then they feel stuck on the level of, oh, but you know, I have manifested these hundred dollars for myself right now, but you know, if I had to treat someone else to dinner, I couldn't do that right now. Or if I want to give something away, I really can't. So then they start to feel slightly more capable on the level of getting, but it's the same one flow. In the eyes of creation, there is no difference between getting and receiving. It's the same movement from left to right, or up and down, or down or up, doesn't matter. Abundance is the expensive movement of consciousness expanding upon itself. And so it doesn't see a you or a him or a her or a them versus you or a getting or a giving. So it's important that overall you feel like you can give, you can receive. It's part of the same one flow. So the spending power is also towards other beings. There should be no distinction. You, have, you should feel like you have the capacity to give someone else something without feeling like oh, you're cringing up or you would be lacking something. So emphasize all the little things that in your physical reality even, you could actually do. And doesn't mean you actually have to spend that $5 10,000 times. It simply means that you feel like you could in that moment. You feel that you can. So number three is all about getting into the vibration of I can. I can do this. I can move to Chile. I can travel. I can get a car. I can do this. All by seeing clever ways within which, yes, I could actually get this right now. If I really wanted to, I could get this right now. And with that same capacity, I could also get this right now. And I could also achieve this right now. And I could also give away everything I have right now. And then I could also re-manifest everything I have times 10 right now. And I also could buy this. And I also could get this. So this gets you in the flow of I can, I am capable, I have the money, I have the resources, I have the spending power be in the vibration of having that giving, spending, generosity, and receiving power. The power of abundance is yours. You can do many, many things right now. Get into the vibration of how much stuff you can do and amplify that, acknowledge it, and recognize all the things you could get on a daily basis, even if you don't want it. Just like, yes, I could get that pillow right now and give it to someone else. 
Yes, I could go to the store and buy another pillow. Yes, I could get whatever. It doesn't matter. Just be in the energy of I can. 